Hey guys, John Loxa here, back with our blind playthrough of Eternal Daughter. So, uh, yeah. Last time we didn't defeat Hume. I assume it's Hume and not Hume, but, uh... Oh, right. Yeah, I gotta go. Refamiliarize myself with the controls. Uh, I guess it would be the bottom one. Hmm. Okay, jump, attack. Wish me luck. I'm gonna try this, you know, a few more times until I start to get frustrated and then I'll probably stop. And then, uh, I don't know how long that's gonna go, 15 minutes. And then I'll, I'll take a break and I'll resume and kind of merge. Hopefully this episode we beat this guy. Um, But if not, I mean, you know. Uh. Wow. I wasn't yawning until I started doing this. Okay. All right. That side of me is dead. All right. Okay. I was right. Right. I forgot about that. We can only take two hits. Jeez. Hmm. This is gonna get, um... Oh, crap! Already, huh? There's your one free hit. This is going to get old super fast, I think. This... Uh, I have no plans to... Um, stop playing the game, like to rage quit, so to speak, but... Oh no! See, that is where uh, a backdash would probably help. Okay, we gotta get over him if he jumps. What determines when he jumps? I don't know. Man, it's the morning too. I wish I wasn't yawning so much. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. See, the problem is... Uh, I can't... I can't attack fast enough. It's just so awkward. It's super awkward. What was that? Oh, hmm. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe, maybe my neighbor's upstairs. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Weird. Can I, uh... Oh. oh, I guess you can, but I'd rather... Okay, well, there is that. That's... Ah, you stupid. That's not what I wanted. See, it doesn't... Oh crap, I'm dead. Got stuck on the side there. It's... I feel like it... It shouldn't be awkward to jump and use the... Um... Special weapon, but for some reason it is. At least for me. For this game. Enjoy my frustration. I mean, <laughs> nothing wrong with a little Schadenfreude, right? <sighs> I 
I have a I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot of hits. Round eye, round face, whatever. Okay. And then Oh my gosh! Stupid purple bubbles? I mean, I have to... See, you have to get under him. But the purple bubbles... He just keeps shooting them. And they go different speeds, and they take a lot of regular... Hmm. I mean, I feel like with the slide back we could probably do a lot better, but it's... It just... It just feels so awkward. And then, yeah, as soon as I... I can't... I can't get these stupid things under control. It hasn't even been... It hasn't even been ten minutes yet. Mmm. I mean, seriously, this is like... Super hard. Okay. See, the hitbox... No! Ah, okay. Okay, that is helpful. That's a... I mean, you know, but... I was doing... I was, you know, I was doing okay. That is probably the strategy we're gonna have to do. Man, I just wish I had more health. Even one hit extra would help. But you can only make one mistake. Okay. Oh, no, see, I jumped instead of... That's, that's the problem, is, like, holding up. Like, you're trying to jump. And... See, I'm, I'm toast there, because it's like... How to explain. Up and jump makes you slide back. So I want to jump and then hold up and attack so I can shoot the knife. But then if I want to slide back, it's also... It's a jump button, right? So it's... It's not... A jump that I want to do, but my brain interprets it as jumping. So it's maybe I'm looking too much into it, but it's like, yeah, you have to. And then they go up. Mmm. Come on. See, I hit the jump and I was trying to slide back because I forgot to push up. Oh.
And this is more like, uh, instead of having your, your shoulders back, I'm like kind of crunched forward because of the, uh, the position of the hands. So it makes it, you know, kind of hurts the neck a little bit as well. Come on. Ah, uh, and it's... When he's doing the drill thing, you can't hurt it. Oh, okay. I'm getting frustrated because it's... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the back... I'm trying to think. Traditionally, like, a back step has been a separate button. But, I, you know, this is... This is old school. Very old school. Even for 2000. Like, I'm trying to think... Because in 2000, there were emulators already, right? So people were already using the... People were already using, like, X and Z, right? Instead of control and shift. Control and shift was like... I'm trying to remember. How many hits does this freaking guy take? I hate these stupid purple things. And see... I mean... I don't think I can jump, or... Can I backdash in the air? Let's find out. So jump. Ah, see, that's... No. Alright. Okay. Ooh, and see, there's uh, like a little bit of forward momentum as well. Ay. Okay, well, I'm toast. I'm toast. Because the you have to kill those purple things, but there's so many of them. See, that's not good. There's your there's your one hit. Ah, uh, see, as soon as you back away, he he jumps, which you have to. It's... Basically, you have to back away because of the purple things. And then if you do back away... He jumps. He jumps at you. See, like that, right? For what it's worth, though, I think I'm I'm keeping my cool fairly okay. I'm annoyed. I am annoyed, but it's, you know... Uh. Ugh. 
Why? Oh, because I was, uh... Right, because I was far away, that's why he jumped back. Ah. So apparently this is the first major um, difficulty spike in the game, which, I mean, obviously... It definitely is. Okay. Ah. Come on, jump, you stupid thing. Like, sometimes he jumps, sometimes he doesn't. But this isn't the last major difficulty spike, apparently. It's just the first one. Because you don't have... You don't have a lot of health. Ah, you stupid thing. No, you're supposed to... Ah, I knew I was too close. <sighs> yeah, I think I, um... Come on, And see, it's hard to tell if I'm too close or not. And I thought I was gonna shoot one of those little things, but... Okay, that that's okay, that's okay. Really, I was really hoping. I was like, come on, maybe. I mean, that's ugh, cat hair everywhere, dude. That's basically how it's got to be done. Just got to keep knocking out those purple, stupid purple things. Right, thought I was out of range. Okay, unless I get these purple, I'm toast, probably. Jump! I, I mean, okay, it makes sense that he could jump back, but I hadn't thought about it, to be honest. It's just when you're... When you're stuck in the side like that, that's no good. You're just, you're done, basically. take my inputs either, which is a little bit annoying. See, I was trying to use the knife thing and it didn't... For whatever reason, there were a few times where... Well, you guys probably saw it. I would jump and not do anything, but I was holding up and hitting the button and it just didn't... It didn't register. Now, I don't know. It could be... I mean, you know, I've been blaming the keyboard this whole time, which that's a possibility, but it could be the, um... 
you know, the fact it's an older, like Macromedia Fusion. I don't even know, I don't even think Macromedia is around anymore. They got absorbed into Flash, I believe. Um, a long, long time ago. Ah, crap. I must have invincibility frames also. Or maybe it's a little bit more forgiving or something. Because I didn't take the hit right away. See, like, right there. I mean, see, I'm a, I feel like I should be within range, but I'm not. Jump over me, please. Or kill me. <laughs> also, I have a feeling, just the way things are going, that uh, the water stuff is not going to be... Um, it's not going to be like Castlevania of the Night, where you find a relic to... To be able to breathe safely underwater, it's um. You're probably just gonna have to just keep taking the damage. Oh, come on. Come on, hit it. Hit it a bunch. I'm. I knew I was toast. Well, I've been going longer than I, than I thought I was gonna, so there's that. Seriously though, I would recommend you guys actually try this game and just kind of get a feel for what I'm what I'm talking about, because it is not I mean it could just be me, it's possibly just me, but I don't I don't think so, and that was uh Yeah. For what it's worth, I'm, I'm surprised and grateful that people are uh, watching these videos. The, um... The Eternal Daughter videos, I mean, it's... I was a little bit surprised. No, use your stupid thing. I'm toast. I was like, use your freaking knife. Um. I mean, honestly, I figure. Yeah, uh, you know, this would not be a game that people really want to watch. It's 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 kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. It's um. Definitely not perfect, but I'm I'm curious to see like because this is one of the guys that made you know Spelunky and then Aquaria and uh, I haven't played Spelunky yet. I need to one of these days. Come on! Okay, so I'm probably dead. I knew it. I knew it. You just get overwhelmed by those purple things in your toast. It's... Mm, you just... You can't take the hits. Can't take the hits. And then, uh... I probably will end up... trying to find a map. Just to so, like, 
No, use your use your knife. Why are you not using your stupid knife? Ah. Um. I knew it. It's like one mistake. One mistake in your toast. No, but I'm probably gonna end up um finding like a map and and just a uh I mean it's a blind playthrough, but man, I need those health things. So if I missed any, just to you know maybe look, okay, I just beat Hume, where can I get more more health or something like that? Because you're gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back for it anyway. Um Going back, I saw, or, or re-watching the old, ep old episodes, I saw, um, there was one, like, at the beginning behind some blast door-looking thing, and then, um, there's all the stuff that's underwater, and, you know, so it's just like, is, is there, this, this game is brutal. So I'm just wondering, like, is there stuff that I missed? Can I make it less painful on myself? Or can I can I help myself out a little bit? I really thought that was gonna hit me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, see, I'm Come on! Holy cow, how did I... What happened there? I took a hit, but it was probably from the thing itself. I just know that I didn't die on the second hit, so it was, you know... I don't know what hit me, I think it was the... ...machine itself. But even if you do have some invincibility frames, it's it's certainly not many, and you get knocked back like the Castlevania thing anyway. So come on, just use your freaking knife when I tell you. It's like it takes a second to register that you're like you can't just jump. Oops, sorry, I hit the microphone. You can't just jump and then up and attack. It's like you have to hold up for like half a second to a second first before it registers that you're holding up and then hitting the attack button. Otherwise, it just is like, oh, I don't know what you're doing. Or it's like, oh, no, you didn't hold it long enough and now you're just regular attack. So it's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm looking too much into it or, or something. I could be totally wrong, but it's like, I don't know, it's... just so much. Oh, hey, that was cool. You could probably even hear me, uh, hitting the keys. Ugh. Okay, good, good, that was good. I really thought that was gonna hit me. Oh! Well, that might have, that might have screwed me. God. Just gonna take a moment, just breathe a little bit. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, I'm not, um... Wow. Yeah, I'm not, um... Oh, you know what? Let's, um... Okay, got the hammer up and control, so it's another... I'm saving. I'm saving right now. Uh, we'll save over slot one. And then, what does this do? I assume... It's probably like an arcing weapon, like the axe in Castlevania. Yes. And it takes two. Okay, why? Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I knew I got this. Yeah, that's... I knew there was no way I was getting out of there. Um, I mean, I would wager 20% done. Uh, let's... Right, okay, so that is how you... You have to kind of go through the water to go back, so let's try going forward. Um, man, I'm glad I beat him. And now we have the knife and the hammer. Um, that's rough. I don't... Part of the article or whatever that I was reading about Hume and how it's the biggest difficulty spike was like, Oh, you know, but people... People beat him and they feel really great about it afterwards and that makes them keep going. I don't... I feel good. It's not like a huge greatness, right? Because it's not like... It, it feels clunky, right? If, if I could attribute everything, all the mistakes to myself, then I'd be like, whoa, I beat it, I'm amazing. But whether it's the controls or the, the old programming or the old game, or the keyboard, or or any of that stuff, um, those those take away, and so they make the game um, just a little more frustrating. It's kind of like there's games that are skill based, and then there's games that are RNG based, right? Um, you know, Binding of Isaac, FTL. There is skill associated with those games, but a lot of time it's RNG. And so you can't necessarily feel good about beating it based on random chance. So, I don't know. I'll take it, though. I'll take the victory. This is the Council. Smyrnal. Capus, you must believe Smyrnal. Riders bad. Riders lie to Dungaga. What do riders have to say to this? Oh, wait. Those are the riders. That really sounds like the Empire's theme from FF6. Like a lot. But it's okay. Hoth Bashul, the sons of Baphomet will make good on their promise. Rajoman, you will not stand against us, brothers. The one who speaks against us speaks against himself. Merzermer. He is the traitor you seek. Not true. Smyrnal, not traitor. The Senate will defy decide your fate, Smyrnal. So Smyrnal is basically like, these dudes are lying to us, and they're like, "No, we're not." And the council's like, "Yeah, okay, we'll put we'll put the guy that says bad stuff about you to to death, or or maybe who knows." The Senate of the Dungaga is slow. Baphomet will judge the Smyrnal. He speaks 
Wait, who's Baphomet? He speaks only through the mind of the Shulin, sworn enemies of our father. Okay, so the Shulin are those monks. Baphomet is the father, maybe? They control him as they mean to control you all. Oh, interesting. So it kind of turned against the, uh... The plan turned against them here, I guess. Unless the Shulin's plan is to get the Dungaga to destroy themselves. Who knows? Capus. Traitor, your mind belongs to him now. That's bad. Wow, they just blew him up. There, no there is another presence in this room that does not belong to us. We will seek it out. Uh, no, we're gonna run. Which way are we going? Mia, the three riders have found our hiding place. You must leave now. Go, meet me back in the mountains. All right, I'm off. I was gonna stop here, but we have a few more minutes and so I'll try and get back a little bit farther first. Interesting, the plot thickens. All right, so let's... Oh, hurry! Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, crap. Well, that doesn't help. That was weird. Uh, let's... Oh, really? You're gonna do this? I'll take health. Yeah, probably jumping into the... Into the abyss or whatever is probably not the greatest plan. See, there's another heart container right there. But oh, let's uh. Oh, maybe no. See, their bullets can fly through. Let's try the let's try the thing. Okay, hammer does nothing. And that just bounces off. So how do I... Maybe underneath? Or not, okay. I'm trying to get back to a save point, that doesn't help. Ow! Let's just, I guess we'll keep going back. Ooh, I should have, uh... Wow, that was... Just, uh, I'm holding my breath because I don't want to get shot by some random... Oh, this was where Smyrnal was, and now he's dead. Still... Ooh! Still, it might have proved, uh, the Shulin's point, right? Oh, crap. Right? I mean, they're basically like, anyone that speaks against us will die, and they just blow up some dude. Percent done. Okay, so it does its items and story. Yeah, it kind of it kind of proved the Shulin's point. Oh, you jerk! Oh, that's fine. I'll take that health. And I'll take that ammo or whatever weapon energy. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, jeez. It frustrates me a little bit. There's like... Because, you know, I can't get those... I can't get the heart container. Ooh, I almost... 
Oh, goodness. I can't get the heart containers. I can't get the weapon stuff. How are we doing on time? I'm just glad I beat that mofo. You know, that makes me happy. Oh, we're taking damage. That's a big heart. I'll, yeah, I'll take it. First thing is just to... Oh, of course. And I hate the falling, because you never know what's under you. It's like the worst part. Is this... I think that's the... Was this where Smyrnal was? I think so. Yes. Good dodge there. Oh, you jerk. Ow is right. Holy crap. Oh, my. I knew that was going to happen to him. Like, he's going to drop one of those things. Man. Come on, keep moving, little girl. Come on, I know you're gonna come at me. There you go. Still gonna, yep. All right. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll just keep going this way then. I'll take the heart at least. And that's a little disappointing. I was hoping for a little bit more in the way of, you know health or something. But, oh, okay. There's a save point. I'm gonna use this. Save number two. How are we doing on time? A little bit more. A little bit more. Not much. Maybe... See, that was silly. Uh, that was also silly. Should I attempt to make it back to the, the save points? I'm gonna say yes. Eh, whatever. I think I got more weapon ammo. Run, little girl. Run. Ouch. Yeah, see, I'm like... At least right there, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get shot. Or, or that, uh... Yeah, that stupid thing is gonna come down and try and attack me. Kind of like that. See. Whoa. Well, I'll take the health at least. I do kind of love how these guys occupy like a a poisonous barren wasteland. It just makes sense. Oh, right.
Right, okay. Ooh, I thought that was gonna kill me. Come on. No health. No health from you either. That's... Not super helpful, to be honest. Oh, great. Oh, wonderful. I... <laughs> Man. Hate those guys. Right. Let's just... What did I hit there? The bullet? Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on! Come on, Mia. Just use your... Use your laser hand beam... things and just blast them. I mean, what you probably have to do is... Uh, probably using your hammer is what you want to use to... Yeah. Yep. Ooh, that was a close one. That actually does make it significantly easier. I just wish there was a, um... You know, it'd be nice if the... health... or save point also refilled all of your weapon stuff as well, you know? Instead of just kill an enemy, pick one up. Kill another enemy, pick up a second one. Oh, come on! And no health. I'll take that. Um, am I supposed to go up from here? I don't know. I mean, there's definitely possibly something up there. And, uh... Okay. You know, a double jump or something would be nice. Well, I guess it's not to be. Slot 3 again. But I feel like I'm supposed to go up there, so I don't know what the deal is. Right? Or am I not supposed to go up there yet? Ooh, that was a good... That was a good dodge. I'll take it. And... Okay. Gideon, who goes there? Mia. Tell me, Mia, do you seek my magic anklet? Sure. Anklet? Well, you can't have it. Haha! <laughs> Catch me if you can! Huh? Alright... What do you mean, catch you? I mean, assuming... I assume he went somewhere. If he's seriously, like, um... I mean, I assume the anklet gives you the ability to jump higher or something, right? That would be my guess. Getting warmer. Okay. It's the cactus, right? Or maybe not? Huh? 
power. Maybe through this area, ow. I mean, I doubt he's up here. Okay, so where is Mr. Gideon? Presumably not this way. Um, I mean maybe. We'll 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 go in here real fast. No. Okay, so we'll save. Uh in two, I suppose. Because we are supposed to go to the mountain, but let's see if we can find Gideon again. Real fast. Real fast. We have a little bit of time left. Ow. Stupid crab. Um, I mean, Gideon said getting warmer, or does going in the temple invalidate it? Like, I haven't... I mean... I mean, surely he's... Hmm. Maybe he reset because we left the area. I mean, he's not going to be down here, right? don't know. Let's, um... We'll run back to that spot and see. Maybe he did reset after all. Or maybe we have to fall down that way. First, no. Okay. Man. Okay, so we went this way and he's like getting warmer, is what he said. I was right. See, I don't remember this cactus here, but I could be mistaken. Do I have to hit it with a... Okay, I didn't want to. Let's fall down here. Warmer still. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, my beauty. I mean, I think that alone is... Can I get back to a save point real fast? Was there a save point around here somewhere? Um, up, right? Ah, well. Ah, uh, yeah, that I knew. There we go, we'll take that though. I wanna save because I, you know, I mean, I guess I don't have to, but, you know, I'd like to. Uh, yeah, man, well, okay. Oh, that was dumb. Wasn't paying attention, though. That's what does it. Oh, good. I was right. 
Come on, big heart, big heart, big heart. No, it's not what I wanted. Stupid thing. There we go. Okay, we'll stop here then. <laughs> we have to find Gideon. I'm actually, I, I kind of want to play a little bit more of this, to be honest. Um, now that the big issue is out of the way with Hume, I feel like I, I can progress a little bit more. And now the hammer, we know, blow, breaks those uh, those blue blocks, which is huge, huge. We have a little bit extra health too, so that's super important. Um, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these. Uh, you know, give this game a try if it looks like it might be interesting and, and not too frustrating for you. Unless you like frustrating stuff in which, mm, excuse me, in which case, by all means. Um, uh, wow. Yawning. Yawning and stuff. Not good. Uh. <laughs> so what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? I need more coffee. Maybe that'll help. Uh, for me... Man, I had one, like, right before I started. Um. Oh, yeah, um... I saw this YouTuber called Triangle City, who does um, mostly little documentary style stuff about cut content from Fallout New Vegas. It's pretty interesting, actually. He, you know, looks at the different, you know, assets and art, art stuff, and then looks through the code, and he's like, "This is supposed to be here. This is something that was supposed to have been here," and. Um, pretty fascinating honestly just um really neat to see what was planned to be in fallout new vegas that just didn't make it in or they had problems with and had to cut and um really really pretty neat triangle city i think it's all one word but um yeah fallout new vegas stuff he i think that's pretty much what he does exclusively i assume he has more other channels but um but that's the one that i found that was dedicated to that and it was you know i've watched i watched a few of the videos because i'm like yeah it feels like like the powder gangers they were supposed to be almost a rival faction because you had the four main factions and then the powder gangers is like a little gang you meet at the very beginning but they were supposed to be a major player throughout most of the game apparently like with their own quest lines and stuff so really really neat uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.